Hello viewers, welcome to Engineering Study Materials. Today we are going to discuss about the leaf spring manufacturing process. So, what is a leaf spring? Leaf spring is a component that is used in the automobiles to provide a shock absorbing agent or a vibration and damper and a load bearing agent in the automobile such as cars. So, let's discuss about its manufacturing process. First of all, it is manufactured using a square blade and the types are main spring that is with eye and auxiliary or secondary spring. Then the leaf spring is generally a spring that is made of a stacking of the springs that of various curvature and angles so that the leaves are stacked with the gaps. The gap is called as a nipping gap so that it can make a complete shape of a curve so that it gives a correct uh, design and uh, as well as the correct load bearing property. Different curvature for the leaf springs are made because it only gives uh, uh, for the preventing of the failure so that and uh, the finally the springs are preloaded because if it is not preloaded when a vehicle going on a bumpy road the springs will tend to break if it is preloaded earlier when this vehicle same vehicle goes on a bumpy road the preloading will relax and makes us a normal loading so that the spring will not break as we seen in the first condition then the leaf spring is made up of a steel that is made to flow in a curved die is used to get the required curvature and heat treatments are imposed on this uh, product so that it can retain or increase their property such as stress relieving is used to for relieving the stresses and it is heated to 400 to 800 degree Fahrenheit and short painting is used to, to remove the uh, color a uh, black color in the uh, in the property or a product and it induces the compressive strength then manufacturing spring leaves are sized to the required lengths they are subjected to the various process like punching eye rolling covering wrapper rolling and cropping etc then tapper rolling machine is used to, to get the correct or an accurate parabolic shape in this process so that they can get the required curvature and stacked in a correct format then it is undergoing a cambering and hardening machine that is cambering means providing the correct or an accurate angles of these leaf springs and hardening machine is used to harden the angled or stacked leaf springs then it is fed to a tempering furnace so that the leaf spring gets hardened at will and it will oppose or gains the hardness property so that it can able to withstand the high forces on it then it undergoes a short painting operation that is it induces a residual compressive stress on the surface thereby increasing the fatigue life of the spring that is repeated stress it can withstand the spring leaves are then processed after application of the zinc rich primer or graphite primer under coating is used to uh, prevent the rust or corrosion and dry lubricant is used to coat the leaf spring that is graphite molybdenum sulfate mos2 etc then it undergoes a heat treatment operation before that it is assembled and the spring assembly is subject to a scragging operation by deflecting it amount which will develop a maximum stress equal to 90 percent of the yield stress of the material after heat treatment and spree loading of the spring prevents the failure during the operation then it is finally degreased de-rusted and spray painted with anti-corrosive paint and baked Finally, springs. It is a material that provides a large deflection and used for many applications. The, they are generally made of steel and it can be connected in series and parallel. There are number of another spring configurations that can also be used in engineering, but most of the vehicles have leaf springs 
coil springs only so these are the details about the manufacturing process of the leaf springs so this is a short video friends if you like this video please click the thumbs up button and share this video to your friends to gain knowledge and don't forget to subscribe this channel for more videos so thank you for watching